So today we will be talking about how YouTube changed my life with less than 500 subscribers. But before we get into this video, let me introduce myself. Hi, hello, my name is Ja, if you are new to my channel. So, um, just a little backstory about myself. So, when I was a kid, I always took interest in art, right? Um, my aunt would teach me how to write my name, she would teach me how to draw, anything that had to do with art, I absolutely loved. Um, I looked up to her just because she brought out this artistic side of me. So because of that, it made me feel like one day I would soon become a great artist, right? So. When I was younger, I would say about like seven, um, I used to watch old videos of Bob Ross on PBS and just seeing the paintings that he did just really inspired me and I knew one day that I would become a great artist. So when I was a very small girl, I would say around the age of like maybe seven years old, I met a man named Robert. We were at a family gathering and Robert was much older than I was. I'm guessing he was a friend of the family's. I was drawing a picture on a line pa on line paper I don't remember but I was you know I was always interested in art so I was always drawing something um, I was drawing on my line paper and Robert came up to me and he was just like uh, what are you drawing and I showed him what I was drawing and he I guess really liked it he pulled out a sketch pad and he started to draw my dad on it it was so amazing I was like I was so amazed just because it took him like less than 15 minutes to draw this man, right? So after he finished drawing, he ended up giving me this, the whole entire sketch pad and he told me to do something great with it. So after that, then I started to draw everybody I came into contact with because I knew one day that I would become a great artist like Robert. So in this video, we will be talking about how YouTube changed my life with less than 500 subscribers. So at this point, I have less than 500 subscribers. However, YouTube has become an outlet for me. I can stare into the lens of a camera and feel like I'm the only one in the room. In reality, I'm in a room with millions of people. At first, it can feel a little weird talking into a camera lens and feel like no one is listening, but everyone is listening, and that's such an amazing feeling to have. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I was discouraged and excited at the same time. When I made my first YouTube video, I had 200 plus views within the first 30 minutes. I was so hyped. Videos after that would only have around like 10 views, but I kept going. I would create more content, different content, and was aiming to try and find my niche. Eventually, I stopped editing and posting. However, I continued to record. Life happens, and sometimes not the way that you expect it to. So, the point that I'm trying to make is that even though life happens and plans don't fall through, you continue to keep going. You keep going. That's what's most important, to have consistency. Even though I stopped posting my videos for a while, I continued to record because I knew that one day I would get my videos out to the world. Like, it's not even just about, you know, me um, having millions of people or thousands of people watch my videos. If people come across my videos and I can inspire anybody to do whatever it is that they um, desire in their life, then that's great. However, this making YouTube videos has just become something that I like to do. So YouTube has allowed me to express myself in ways that I never thought was possible. It has given me the freedom to be who I am on and off camera. It has also allowed me to meet so many great people and people that support me and that means a lot to me. So the confidence that it, it has also given to me has been beautiful and beyond words could just ever describe. I was really shy as a kid but growing up you wouldn't be able to tell. I always felt like I needed to make a joke in a serious moment just so I wouldn't feel awkward. My family thinks that I'm such a people's person but in reality I'm just a young kid trying to hide the awkward silence. So having less than 500 subscribers on YouTube isn't a discouragement for me it's more of like encouragement for me it helps and motivates me to continue to do what I love and that is to make content even when I feel like no one is watching the reality of a situation isn't always as it may seem on the outside because if you take out the now you'll always have the future so in other words reach for your dreams reach far and high so in this book the Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles, he quotes, By thought, the thing you want is brought to you. By action, you receive it. Visioning your dream is number one, but 
taking action is the main ingredient. So my advice to you would be to follow your dreams no matter what, no matter how hard it gets and no matter how, how far away it seems. Even though I never turned out to be an amazing painter or an amazing drawer, it has led me to be where I am today, an amazing spirit that has so much to give to the world. I want to inspire those to do absolutely whatever it is that they desire in their life, no matter how hard it may seem or how discouraged they may get. I want to inspire people to continue to follow their dreams and to reach far and reach high because even though it seems like no one is watching, everyone is watching. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!